Yes, okay. Hey, it's Bailey, and this is my first YouTube video. Um, it's actually not my first YouTube video, it's my first channel I've ever had. In sixth grade, me and my friend made a music video to Justin Bieber, Never Say Never. We were hardcore believers, and honestly, like, that was one of my, like, highlights. Like, that video, I'm gonna put it below. Like, definitely check it out, because it's pretty impressive. But anyways, yeah, so I'm just doing this, um, channel for fun. I've always, like, been really into, um, like, making videos and stuff. Did a lot of TV production in high school, and I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel. So I'm really excited that I'm finally doing it, because I've been wanting to do it for so long. I have a bunch of, like, other video ideas, just, like, literally, like, anything like just random stuff like if you guys have any suggestions I'm totally open to that so comment below what you want me to do and I will hop on that so I'm really excited for this channel and I hope you guys like it and subscribe Can be a homie if you do. so we're gonna get into the video I'm doing so we're gonna go ahead and get started um first I'm gonna use this Farsali skin tune blur it's the aqua one it literally, it smells like cucumber, it's like a perfect primer, and it feels so good on your skin. It feels so good, it's like really cooling. Okay, just rub it in. Get it all in your pores. Get it on your lips too. If your lips are a little dry, they really help, honestly. Go into the um, Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Those things, so... And I use um, just this random like e.l.f. bronzing brush and it kind of just, it does the job. I just do this lightly, especially if it's just kind of like everyday makeup. I just use a little of it. But if I'm like going out at night or like going to like an event or something, um, I'll put this on my whole face. But I just put a little bit right here. There, right there. So it's like shiny. Um, and so then I just take this brush. Okay, now we're glowing. Look a little crazy. I literally just ran out of my um, foundation. It's the Becca, it's like a clear tube. It's really good, but. So I just pulled this out of my drawer. I've never tried it before. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour. I feel like it's gonna be a little dark, but it might not. So let's keep our hopes up. I'm gonna spray my beauty blender with some um, Mario Bo, whatever. Um, facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water. I literally use that on everything. Like it's amazing. So I just put my um, foundation on the beauty blender and then start dabbing that's like really good like I think I might like it more than like my Becca it's like very light but it has like really good coverage it's like medium coverage it's really good I'm like really obsessed with like blending like I will spend like five minutes blending my face. Like, that's just really big for me. Like, I can't have any, like, harsh lines. Or, like, my night's ruined. Not really, but... This is really good, guys. Okay. It's, like, kind of darker than my, um, than my skin. But I can make it work with, like, concealer and stuff. That's never a problem, really. I'm like really excited for this channel. Like I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I've just never gotten around to it. Cause like being completely honest, like I thought people would like judge me and just be like, oh, like you're like just doing a YouTube channel, like. But then I realized I really don't care. So I'm gonna do what makes me happy and what I like to do. And whoever supports me, they're my true friends. And yeah. Okay, I think we are all blended out. So I use, this is literally my favorite product like that I've discovered in the past like couple months. 
the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. It's literally amazing. I still have like the wrapper on it. I just like couldn't get it off. <laughs> so I just like twisted it. But um, everyone says this is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. But I've never used the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm guessing this, like the Shape Tape or whatever is good. But literally this is so good. But the only like bad thing about it is you have to set it right away or else it'll crease. But like it's literally the most creamy concealer Oh, it blends so well. Just gonna right in my face. So I usually start with everything but the under eyes because we have to set the under eyes really fast. So I leave that for last. So I use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I just use a random beauty blender. It's just like dry. I think that works the best, honestly. Am I in focus? I don't know. I hope so. It's so far away, honestly. I can't really see it. This is like, I don't know. Like, I put this behind my desk, and like, now my room's like a mess. Like, I'm not gonna show you, but like, I had to move a bunch of stuff to put the camera there, and I really don't like it here. Like, I like it, like, right now. Like, it's good, but it's just a lot of work, and like, not work. It's just like, very inconvenient like where it is like I'll show you later but yeah okay so next off we're gonna use makeup revolution fast base concealer I got like um I got C11 and I use this as a bronzer so I'll show that to you well you can see the outline so that's cool thanks camera so you just twist it, it's really convenient, but um, I really like it. Just do a couple dots, one here, one here, one here, one here. And then I use that same beauty blender I used, but I use the other side. And it works very well. So we got like a little natural bronzing going on right now. And then... If I want to kick it up a notch, I'll go use Hula Benefit and use my Morphe R2 brush. And just put a little bit. And I'll go up here. Honestly, I freaking love bronzer. Like, I don't know what I would do that without it. It just, like, finishes the look. You know what I mean? Like, and blush. Like, whenever I, like, one time I, like, I did my makeup and I forgot to do my blush. Like, I don't know how I forgot. I just did. And, like, the whole night I was like, what is wrong with my face? Like, I just didn't know. And then I was like, I didn't wear blush. <sighs> it's the worst. It's the woat. Worst of all time. If you didn't know what that meant. We're going to use the Morphe M536 and just lightly dust off. The translucent powder. I usually just tap it because I don't want to mess up anything. Now we're going to go into blush. I actually just got this blush yesterday because I lost my other one. But it's the Milani Baked Blush in shade Rose Dioro 02. And it's really good. Whatever. I'll learn. I'll learn one day but I just have this random brush it's like a fluffy I just dab that and it gives like a really good rosy feel you know what I'm saying I just put a little on my nose okay and now I look like a clown so <laughs> So then, but this is what always happens, I know what to do. I go in with just this L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Powder and Warm. And I use this brush and I kind of just like go over it a little bit. Just blend it into my skin. So we got our blush on. Okay. 
Now, brows. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. okay. So I use the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in 305 Soft Brown. And honestly, I really recommend it. It's been very good to me. But it's very easy. It's like very creamy. And yeah. Eyebrows are my least favorite part. So, next weekend, well, depending on when I post this, so, today's January 31st, next weekend, I'm going to visit my best friend, Sarah, at USC, California, and I'm super excited, and I'm definitely going to make a bomb video, super excited for that, not excited for the plane ride. I've never done my brows like sitting down before and like it's really throwing me off because like, I'm like I'm like uh, you know all right you know what these are just gonna have to do because I'm impatient there's no such thing as perfect brows maybe there is but that will never happen here so I, I just go over with powder I don't know why honestly I feel like they're too dark sometimes, so I just want to like put some light powder over it. It works. I always, I've always done it, but yee. So now I'm gonna get my um, where is it? Okay, Urban Decay um, All Nighter Setting Spray. So I just spray it, and then I get my um, my Elf highlighting brush. And I go in with the Fenty Beauty um, Lighting Dust and Fire Crystal. It's like a pinkish, silvery glow. It's really good. I'm almost out of it, honestly. I always put it up a little bit. I don't know, I feel like it looks good. So, got our highlight on. And I always put it on my nose. And right below my eyebrow, I put it right below my brow. It just gives it a little pop. You know? Okay. So normally, if this was on like, just like a school day, I would not wear eyeshadow. I just put mascara on. It's like I'm going to class. Oh my god, guys. So I got this mascara like last week. It's called Bad Gal Bang Benefit. You guys probably know. I don't know. But... I've never heard of it. I've always used Better Than Sex. And this is literally amazing. Like, my lashes have never gotten, like, so long from mascara. Like, I'm literally obsessed. Like, I will never change mascaras now. And, like, mascara is, like, one of the things that, like, is most important to me. Because, like, I don't wear false eyelashes. Unless it's for, like, a big event or something. But just because, like, I don't know. I like just having real eyelashes most of the time. So I'm really about like a really good mascara that will like make my eyelashes pop without having to put um, like lash, lash extensions or false lashes on them. Okay, now I just use um, a Q-tip and just get any little like thing of mascara off. Okay, we're set. So this is honestly not my everyday makeup. I usually don't use foundation, but whatever. I wanted to try that foundation, so okay. This is the final look. Yeah, my eyebrows are not looking good, but like if I were going out, I would like do something about it. 